Welcome to 104.3 ESPN Northwest Florida's new and exciting weekly radio show. A show focused on businesses in Bay and surrounding counties. Business Between the Lines is hosted by Christy Kirkland, a business accelerator with Answer Marketing, and co-hosted by Jason Price, a video guru with Ripplify Media. Hey, Jason. Hey, Christy. And welcome back to ESPN Northwest Florida's Business Between the Lines on 104.3. Um, guys, today we say it all the time, and this time it's going to be a really cool one as well. We've got <laughs> <laughs> we've got a really, really good friend of mine. I'm always smacking the table. He's always smacking good the table. Good <laughs> friend of mine. He's like family. A guy named Matt Morris, who's the owner of Sweat Shack. Him and his wife, Megan, are absolute pros in building relationships and building businesses. I'm going to stop smacking the table, okay? <laughs> Um, he's started many businesses and has done amazing things, but today the main thing that we're going to focus on is the Sweat Shack and not necessarily talking about that, but how he has managed to build it over the last few years. And I think it's difficult whenever you're building a kind of a membership-focused mm -hmm. business to have loyalty for your people, to not have people who are jumping all around. I mean, like, I've joined and been a part of many gyms that I haven't been a part of long term. <laughs> <laughs> and he has got a plethora of amazing members who love being a part of his gym week in and week out. It's a really unique way of structuring things. And on top of that, he also has an incredibly loyal staff, kind of akin to, you know, the bagel maker we had on a few weeks ago. And so I yeah, think so that that's like got a, a lot of value. a whole different perspective because our whole process with the business between the lines is somebody might be doing it this way, but somebody else does it a different way. Mm -hmm. And we want to bring a whole bunch of different people that do it a bunch of different ways so that maybe one of those ways will relate to you and you'll be able to clue in on something that you can take away and learn from the show. So this is a passion of mine, creating that brand loyalty and customer mm -hmm. loyalty and staff loyalty. So I can't wait to hear what he has to say. Yeah. So stay tuned here. Just after this commercial break, we're going to have Matt Morris with the Sweat Shack here to share some awesome value with you. We'll be right back. Hey, Jason. Hey, Christy. Hey, hey Matt. Matt. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> So guys, today we have Matt Morse with the Sweat Shack um, coming with us with a sweet swag to talk <laughs> about um, talk about like you know your life and the you know pro tips that you have, things that you've done to grow the Sweat Shack to a pretty significant size, pr pretty significant membership over a pretty small amount of time. Sure. And the amount of member loyalty that you have, and the you know the uh, staff loyalty tips. that you have, yeah, right? Every everybody wants to have good customers, and especially now everybody wants to have really good employees. So, yeah. what's your what's your secret sauce? How yeah. So, I think the secret sauce is just you know to be humble and to be teachable and coachable. Mm -hmm. I say that because like I'm actually not the pro. I'm actually you know the, the person that gets mentored the most. Right, and okay. I mean that nice. genuinely. Okay. Like, and owns it. I well, and so, that. so like, so like, my wife, Ashley and Eric, Eric Stoltz, Ashley Stoltz, and my wife, they actually own the business. I just basically help operate it. I'm the the lead volunteer, <laughs> as I said. <laughs> so, so ultimately, like, I think the biggest part of being a business owner, right, is being coachable, being right. teachable. Um, oh, that's so. As huge. soon as you think you know everything, like You're that's when I, that's when the sledgehammer comes over your head, and that, <laughs> that humble pie. Dunk. That humble pie has never been so sweet. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> so I think I honestly think that one of the biggest things about just in any business, right, in any town, in any community, right, is just going to like I always call it the ignorant tax. Okay. Right. Like ignorant think about it this tax. way: like either you know or you don't know, and if you know, you know. Yeah. Okay. Like it's a thing. So I say this because, like. Whenever you went into your industry, right, you tapped into other friends and other people. Oh, yeah. And you're like, hey, man, like I'm really, imp like I'm really, really inspired by what you do. I would love to be able to be like on your level, like I don't know, 50 years from now. <laughs> like, what's, what are some of the biggest things uh -huh. that maybe you had problems with? Because if you don't ask that question, you're gonna pay the ignorant tax. You may as well ask that question if somebody has crossed that bridge. Oh, yeah. Already. Who's already had those problems? Learn from somebody else's yeah. mistakes. Yeah, or pay the ignorant tax and be ready and willing because it's coming, right? Yeah. It is going to happen. Yeah. I mean, I say this because in a prior business, I mean, I, I, I my, my ignorant tax was sixty five thousand dollars. Yeah. Ooh. Out of my cash money, out of my own bank account, and I was like, <gasps> a hard lesson learned. <laughs> okay, I still can't breathe. 
<laughs> and then, <laughs> and at that point, it was that was that humble pie I talked about, right? Yeah. yeah. So, for me, it is find somebody that's already paid the ignorant tax. Mm. And don't or, be afraid to ask those questions. Or yeah, yeah and, and then and then they, I mean, I can tell you right now, like if somebody were to call me or met, DM me, right, and say, "Hey, Matt, I'm about to do this." Do you think that'd help them? Yes. Mm-hmm. I would. 100%. Right. Why? The number of somebody, times I've sat on the phone with you, you for like an hour asking questions, yeah. and he's yeah. like, oh, well, this is, this is that's one thing I did wrong, and this is one thing I did yeah. wrong. That's my favorite thing. So much. Pay yeah. it forward. You yeah. learn from somebody else, it's time to pay that tax forward. Right. Yeah. Like, I think that the last conversation you're going to have was talking about lead generation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, there's amazing softwares out there. Right. Mm. Right? And some people don't know about it. Yeah. So what do they do? They go on Instagram follow somebody they unfollow them and then hope and pray that they follow them back and it sticks yeah that's not the way to do it yeah right but had i not known that had i not paid that ignorant tax or asked somebody that had already had paid Mm -hmm. that ignorant tax then i would never know yeah so now i know (laughs) that's That's just me that's huge so then you know how do people know how to find those those people like how do you find a good mentor yeah, like, does it have to be somebody yeah. in your industry does yeah, it have we've to, you know? had this in a previous yeah. show and we we said exercise caution because there's a lot of people that put it out there and they yeah. say i need help with this and then everybody jumps on the advice band bandwagon they want to sure. give their their two cents and stuff and it's like some of that stuff you're being fed isn't always what you should sure. be doing yeah, yeah. no I, I agree i agree 100 percent. it's like hey how do you vet Right. The information, right? And so, kidding. like, for me personally, um, I looked at, okay, hey, I have a boutique fitness facility. This is right. my check, right? Panama City didn't really have any of those. Right. Didn't. So I kind of went into this blindly, not really knowing kind of what we were doing, right? right? And so what I did was I went and, like, you know, went to St. Augustine. I went to, mm-hmm. you know, Pensacola. Yeah. And I, I found those boutique fitness facilities. I'm like, man, it'd be awesome to have a little bit of this, a little bit of this, a little bit of this, kind of like a little Stromboli option, right? Yeah, yeah. Of what I want. And so I picked all the best options from all different things. And I said, you know what? I'm going to find out who the owner of that business is or whoever does their marketing. Or like, let's just, as an example, there's a local brewery that does phenomenal on marketing. Mm-hmm. And I don't know, you know, if I can kind of go into who I think that is. But regardless, there is one. If it were me personally, and I said, you know what? I need help in marketing. Right. It doesn't necessarily have to be in the same industry like you referred to earlier. Right. Yeah. Me personally, it's like, hey, that person's really good. They got really good social proof. Hmm. Who does their marketing? Right. Maybe I can learn from them. Maybe yeah. I can see like what hurdles did you face when you were so, trying to figure out what kind of yeah. thing. I did that when we did the A team. Yeah. I yeah. I did a seminar and I was teaching about business startup things, yeah. things that you need, the fundamentals, the stuff that nobody ever tells you about. It's like they say business plan, you know, all the, the basics that yeah. people throw out there. And I'm like, no, okay, here's what you really need to know. And here's what you need to prepare for and stuff. Sure. And part of that was I told everybody, I was like, you need to be a part of your community. You need to join some groups and stuff yep. so that you have support. And I listed out the top three types of groups that you need to be a part of. And I said, mm-hmm. you really can't be a part of more than that or you're yeah. spread too thin. You're starting a business. Mm-hmm. And when I did that, this guy came up to me after the sh- after my seminar and he's like, okay, I get that and I want all three of those. But if I was to start with one right now, what would be that one that would give me a well-rounded? And we didn't Absolutely. have one. And I did the same thing like you did with your shop. I looked at all the groups I was a part of and I said, I really like this, I really like this, I really like this, and put it mm-hmm. together and built the A team yep. out of those juice pieces. And that's what you do, yeah. right? So it's the same thing I tell everybody, if you're in business, are you in business to have the highest you know, costly job? Right. Or are you in business to make money? Right. Like ultimately, because you can own your own business but be shackled to it because you have to work in it. Right. So like for us, what we've always looked at is like, hey, if we want to make X percent profit margin, cool. What are my expenses? Right. That then dictates my price, right? Mm -hmm. And so there are certain things at our facility where they're extremely low margin because it's it's part of our acquisition cost. Right. Versus our nurturing cost of, hey, they're already here. Let's maintain them. Or that makes sense. Most gyms. Everywhere in in life in general, it's like when a new computer comes out or a new phone you're gonna pay through the nose for that at the beginning Uh understanding that 
concept yeah. is brilliant. Yeah, for and us, like, our big thing is is our clients and their results are our number one focus. And right. you know this, yeah. you know. Our biggest thing is like if my client, if I can get more clients than anybody else to get the result that they desire right. faster, I win. Right. Yeah. Everything else fixes itself. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Nice. So that's that's legitimately our our whole premise is how quickly can I get them to the result they want and let them live their life in a healthier way. Right. Mm. Sweet. That's awesome. <laughs> so so somebody hearing that's that, I want to give you an opportunity. What's like what's the the website, the social, the if somebody wants to learn something about. You know, sweat check and what you're doing. Where do they need to well, so go for that? Well, so we're just at the sweatshack.com, but there's no C, so it's S H A K. Okay. A little different, kind of right. like the shirt is, but needless to say, it's just the sweatshack.com. Cool. Um, if they need to get me directly, um, they can actually text message our phone number. Oh. Yeah. So, like, if they just go to Google, type in sweatshack, our phone number's right there. They can Someone literally text, it. text us. Because yeah. a lot of people don't want a phone call. They're like, hey, I don't know. Oh, no. There's this weird bald that. guy on the other oh, line. Yeah. <laughs> no. But. They're like, hey, I can text this weird bald guy. <laughs> yeah. Then we can rock and roll. Oh, so, man. Yeah. No. That's kind of how it works. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you totally need to make a t-shirt that says... <laughs> Just text the bald guy. sweat with the, with the weird bald guy. <laughs> yeah. But it would be actually with our amazing coaches. Because, right. like, honestly, we've had such great luck hiring local people that are just amazing. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And honestly, Megan and I, we don't coach as much as we used to. Right. Honestly, we're now mentoring our coaches. Yeah. Well, right. Like we're bringing our be. we're bringing that's our coaches up to a level that is just insane. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so like right now we're looking at actually expanding and potentially bringing on some new coaches. Right. Because we're gonna have more room soon. Yeah. So yeah, it's that's it's crazy. And yeah. and that's like a serious another key moment is when you're thinking about stuff like this. Nobody yeah. goes into business thinking I'm going to be the person doing this for the rest of this business life. No, it's. Right being open to teaching your knowledge and sharing your knowledge and your value with those that are under you and bringing them up and like for sure people yeah. are so afraid to share knowledge it kills me uh, <laughs> I'm like it's the word I could talk about that we'll, we'll talk about that during the rap right oh my gosh. <laughs> the key on that is community over competition oh. it is oh my gosh oh, yeah. <laughs> yep oh man put That's a hashtag on that. <laughs> <laughs> Bang it the tail. there's the period there's the mic drop moment and on that note don't turn that dial. Come back to us. We will be right back, Jason and I, wrapping up this session. Live and local sports. High school sports. College football. The NFL. The Atlanta Braves. The Dan Patrick Show. The Herd with Colin Cowherd. The James Hale Show. The Coach's Daughter Show. Sports, we cover it all. 104.3 ESPN Northwest Florida. Hey, Jason. Hey, Christy. And welcome back. And welcome back, back <laughs> to ESPN Northwest Florida's Business Between the Lines show. Guys, we just, had, um, we just had Matt Morris on here, and he touched on a lot of different topics from creating a loyal membership, membership based business to making sure that people know that they matter to you know having loyal employees who love what they do to you know a plethora of other things so we only got 10 minutes so we want to go, go into it a subject that i really like that he has is the people that he gets to do business with all of his clients all of his customers his gym is not like a gold's gym for only bodybuilders it's just like a it's a no normal unique gym for just like everybody and that's part of that was part of his business model. Because, that was how he started it. Yeah, he point bank said you have to get advice from other people. You have to reach out to mm -hmm. other people that have done it and are making it happen. And when he did reach out and look around Bay County and stuff, there really wasn't one in the kind of design that he was really looking for. So he went outside of the area and started getting those little unique. Hey, I like that about that one. I like that about that one, and designed it. Made his own. That. He said it was like a right. stromboli of right. of different things from different gyms, and now what he has built is a really unique, you know, gym experience. Where I th I think, and we were talking about this off air a little bit, but it, it's almost like Matt's created a, an experience for people where the goal is for them to love to be there every right. single week or however many times they go a week. And that's what it yeah, is. And not just from that first initial passion of I'm starting something new, I'm creating a new goal, a new habit or something. 
and the first couple days you're like yes i can do this and then the pain hits and then you're like oh <laughs> i don't really love this so much and so he's created mm -hmm. a atmosphere and a way that people work out that makes them keep wanting to come back and keep getting themselves healthy and fit because that is his passion that's yeah. his ultimate goal when he was designing this it wasn't i want to make x amount of dollars it was i want to help out so many people mm -hmm. and i want them to love this and be healthy and i think that's brilliant yeah and if you look at like all this you know photos and videos and stuff that are on facebook it's clear that everybody th that's there like actually really enjoys you know being there so i think it's just a beautiful thing that like if you love doing it if you love working out at, that, at his gym then you're gonna actually do it right which kind of goes into yeah. what we had <laughs> You know, a theme that we have all the time, which is right. like, if you love what you do, you never work a day then in your you're life, not, you're and you're right. gonna actually pursue it. Yeah, and the people that are in there, because you know from experience and you know from him, and also from me when I was talking to him and stuff, it's not one of those, if you look on the on his page and see the pictures, he didn't say, okay, now everybody smile and yeah. make sure you like this. No, uh -huh. it was actually genuine. People actually are, and you yeah. have to go and experience that, but I love the mic drop moments that he threw out there and I love his philosophy about owners have to be teachable you don't yeah. know it all just because you own it and he went out and he searched and looked for information and looked for knowledge and looked for how are you doing this and you know don't be afraid to ask people those questions you don't look I mean if somebody thinks you look dumb for asking how do you do this then mm -hmm. that's the wrong people get Move those people out of your life. You need yeah. to surround yourself. Yeah, because he also talked about vetting people yes. and making sure that, you know, everybody shouldn't be your mentor. <laughs> <laughs> everybody that gives you advice on Facebook, going back to, like, Larry Perry's first right. episode, <laughs> doesn't need to be somebody that you really listen to and you try to glean information from. But he's made sure to, to reach out to people who are kind of where he wants to be or have right. just a piece of what he wants to be like I was impressed like he went around to different you know boutique gyms all around Florida and like surrounding states to find the little nuggets about how each of them are operating the and like really that's likes. who his mentors are yeah and to be humble yeah I, I'm sorry but that <laughs> paying the ignorant tax I just about fell out when oh, he yeah. said that. That is going to, I'm going to have a t-shirt made with that because that is, that was perfect because a lot of us, you know, we're not willing mm -hmm. to pay that. And if you're not, then you will. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Sooner rather than later, you will end up paying it because you didn't do it the right way. You didn't reach out. You weren't humble about it. You mm -hmm. didn't, you know, find the right people to give you advice and stuff. And be open enough to acknowledge like he did I don't know everything and I you know mm -hmm. that was and I know just because I, I know Matt so well that his like one of his primary goals in life is to everybody that he interacts with he wants to try to learn from them and try to teach them anything that he can learn from them as much as possible and if he has some value to share with them share the value I cannot talk to this man on the phone for more than five minutes without him giving me some information about something some that he's nugget. learned, some little nugget about lead generation and how to get clients and how to build a gym, even though I don't build a gym. Like, I'm not in his industry at all, but I learned so much from him every time, you know, that I talk to him. Yeah, totally. Matt is good people. You can tell that mm -hmm. because even when we wrapped up the first segment and he was getting ready to leave, he was still offering stuff and he was still saying, hey, I'm serious. Reach out to me if you need any help and stuff. Yeah. And people like that that's who you need in your circle that's who mm -hmm. you need to be asking these advice questions from and this is you know and it doesn't have to be in the same industry and mm -hmm. we kind of briefly touched on that some people think okay if i'm going to build this or i want to change that i need to only ask the people that are in that sphere mm -hmm. and no you can get very unique answers and ways of doing things that you can incorporate to your industry, your business, based off of what other people are doing. Mm -hmm. It might not be the perfect fit, but you can glean nuggets from that and learn from it. So don't be afraid to reach outside of, again, your area, but also your industry and mm -hmm. stuff to get those. But we were talking about a little bit on this with creating that loyalty. We mentioned it at the beginning client loyalty, customer base, you know, kind of mm -hmm. loyalty, and your staff, 
and we've had other people on the show about that and I just honestly from everyone I've listened to and just my experiences in business the very key thing is showing people that they matter and that's what he's doing yeah. by not saying okay you got to be a bodybuilder to come in here kind mm -hmm. of a thing he reached outside of that and said where's the need and the need was most people that want to get fit and stuff are not and mm -hmm. he wanted to cater to that and make them feel special and make them understand that they matter too yeah. and you don't have to fit into that mm -hmm. perfect box of what you think it's supposed to look like yeah, it's not something that he even really touched on, but just because I, like, whenever I was I was talking to Christy about having Matt on the show and mm -hmm. kind of giving giving her some information, like, hey, this is kind of who Matt is, one of the key characteristics that I attribute to him that he didn't even mention when he was on with us is that he just makes the people in his life around him, he makes them feel like they matter. Make them feel important. Makes them feel important. Anyone that takes that nugget away and applies that in their personal life and their business life will see dramatic changes in the way that people interact with you and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's the same with when we've had communication. Mm -hmm. People in here and we've had them talk to us about how to communicate and every, I mean we've had a wealth of amazing mm -hmm. people come in here and share their tips and stuff but it all came down to listening to what they were actually saying to hear the actual question and that all comes back full circle to making sure that people understand that they matter and in order to do that you have to listen to them you have to see people you have to hear people and he's doing it he's making yeah. it happen i mean whenever you talk with matt he doesn't come across as somebody if you're talking with him about joining the gym he doesn't come across as somebody who's just really trying to sell you that 12 month <laughs> five thousand dollars a month you know sort of subscription thing you walk away from the conversation and you're like, wow, he's really knowledgeable and he really wants me to, to hit my, my goal Goals. for my health and for my life and to be the kind of person that you know, I want to be. So, Showing people they matter. Total mic drop moment, total key to this whole thing as well as the whole <laughs> ignorant tax thing. Yeah. You don't want to pay it, so ask. You um, know who else really matters? Our sponsors. <laughs> So that's a QN for me. <laughs> no, we do really want to thank our sponsors. We couldn't do this without you. Vortex Spring, Highland Finance, Aero Pest Service. Look them up. They are amazing companies, not just because they sponsor an amazing show. <laughs> it is because they truly are amazing companies and pe ran by amazing people. So check them out. See what they do. Go visit them. Use their services. And make sure you always tune in Sunday mornings, 8 o'clock, for Business Between the Lines show. And if you have something to share, we'd love to have you on the show. So make sure you message us. We'll see you again at our next episode of Business Between the Lines. Thanks for listening to Business Between the Lines. Join us every Sunday morning, beginning at 8 on 104.3 ESPN Northwest Florida.